An event called the USA-Georgia-Azerbaijan Global and Regional Prospects of Trilateral Cooperation was held at the National Institute of Security named after Daniel Morgan, an analytical and training center operating in Washington, D.C., organized by the Azerbaijani and Georgian embassies in the United States. Azerbaijan's ambassador to the United States, Elin Suleymanov, stressed that since the early days of gaining independence, Azerbaijan has seen its prosperity with its partner and neighbor countries. The ambassador noted that the country established strategic partnership relations with Georgia and Turkey in the region, where Azerbaijan is located, and stressed that regular meetings at the level of foreign and defense ministers are held. Noting that threats to territorial integrity were created after the restoration of independence of Azerbaijan and Georgia, Suleymanov said that 20% of Azerbaijan's territory is occupied by Armenia, and Armenia has isolated itself from all regional initiatives and projects as a result of occupation policy. Suleymanov described Azerbaijan-Georgia relations as a model of partnership. Georgia's ambassador to the United States, David Bakrazes, said that Georgia has closely cooperated with Azerbaijan and Turkey in the field of defense and security. David Bakrazes said that since 2012, the defense ministers of all three countries have regularly held meetings, noting that Georgia is closely cooperating with Azerbaijan in the field of energy and transport. The Georgian ambassador pointed out that the U.S. is also interested in the projects implemented in these areas. Ambassador Suleimanov, as well as uh, myself, we are working on a daily basis to strengthen uh, the uh, United States uh, relation both with Azerbaijan and Georgia. Uh, we believe that uh, both Azerbaijan and Georgia lie at the intersection of U.S. Uh, vital interests and therefore strong defense and security cooperation, strong trade and economic relations are key to, uh, to maintaining the stability in the region, which is interesting for all our three countries, but also to serve our strategic goals and interests in the region. We, both Azerbaijan and Georgia, provide uh, connectivity in, in many parts, be it energy, be it transportation, infrastructural projects, etc., to connect uh, Black Sea and Caspian uh, basins, uh, to connect the large economies of Eurasia, continent, be it very strongly emerging Central Asian economies, be it uh, China or on the other hand European Union, Turkey, etc. So our strategic partnership that we fully enjoy between Georgia and Azerbaijan serves this purpose, but also it is important to have more stronger presence of United States in our region to serve this goal. They were discussing Azerbaijan, Georgia, United States trilateral cooperation. And of course from the US perspective this is a good thing. The United States has been a partner of Georgia for more than 10 years at this point, and of course Georgia is one of the sort of strongest allies of the U.S. in the entire region. And of course the United States seeks more allies rather than fewer allies wherever possible. So between these three countries, uh, there's obviously a lot of space to grow. Uh, the issues in the region are many. Both Russia and Iran have there are problems with the United States, the United States has problems with them, has sanctioned them tremendously. There's a series of wars in Georgia, or let's say disputed territories in Georgia and between Armenia and Azerbaijan. So there's a lot of room for growth when it comes to peace, growth and stability. Orkan Zainalov, advisor to the Azerbaijani Embassy in the United States, and David Sumbadze, director of the Washington-based Ramsfeld Scholarship Program at the Central Asia Caucasus Institute, spoke at the second panel, entitled Azerbaijan-Georgia Strategic Bridge for Energy and Trade Between Europe and Asia. They gave detailed information about baku Supsa and baku tbilisi jehan oil pipelines, the Southern Gas Corridor and the baku tbilisi Cross Railway and Trans-Caspian International Transport Route. Bakhtir Hassan of Rafi Gurbanzadeh, CBC, Washington.